Okay, question 60, last one. Um, so it gives us the number of rows and columns in each of five matrices and it asks us which of the following matrix products is not possible. So here's the rule that you have to know about matrix multiplication. If we've got matrix A and we're multiplying it by matrix B, if this has dimensions, um, let's try not to use letters in the question, if this has dimensions P by Q, so that means P rows, Q columns, and this one has dimensions, or I guess I should just use the same letter, this one would have to have dimensions Q by S. In other words, these ones must be the same. And it has to work in this order. So I can, I can get the matrix product A by B because the inner dimensions are the same. But if I try B by A, I'm going to be multiplying a matrix with Q, uh, Q rows and S columns by a matrix with P rows in Q columns, that will not work, okay? So this is a funny thing about matrix multiplication. Normally, multiplication works the same either way around. Five times three is the same as three times five, but that's not true of matrix multiplication. We call that the commutative property. Um, I'm telling you this because that has come up on the ACT before. So if you do an operation in a different order, it's called the commutative property. So we say that matrix multiplication is not commutative. Whoops, commutative. Okay, so anyway, what we're looking at is the number of rows in, oh sorry, the number of columns in the first matrix has to be the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. So this question has to be, it's a not question, so it has to be process of elimination. So F is asking for the product ED. So that would be N times M by M times K. That works. Option G is asking us for the product DC, so that would be M by K and K by N, that works. H is asking for the product CE, so that's K times N by, uh, that was CE, K, KN by NM, that works. Uh, J is asking for the product AE, so that's M times N by N times M. That works, and that one would work both ways round. Um, I think that's the only one so far that would work both ways round. So it's possible to do the product AE and also the product EA. Uh, so it must be the last one, the product AC, so that's M times N by K times N. Yeah, that's the one that would not work because these, uh, that's okay, sorry, it looks terribly like an N. These, these two dimensions are not the same. That's the one that doesn't work, and therefore the answer is K.